It's a completely different scene here at this Stillwater County train derailment site than it was just last month as construction has finished ahead of schedule and train traffic has resumed. They had to think fast and move fast and get the uh, bridge building crews out really fast. And fast may be the perfect way to describe it. Just 28 days after a train derailed and a bridge collapsed into the Yellowstone River near Reed Point, construction on the bridge completed. Drove by it a couple of days ago when I said, me and my son, and I said, that's going to take them another couple of weeks at least. And the next day it's open. Elmer Lloyd has lived in Reed Point for over 20 years and says after Saturday's reopening of the tracks and hearing trains running through his small town, things feel normal again. It's good to have the train going back and forth again, knowing that business is back in the business. According to Montana Railing spokesperson Andy Garland, the first train crossed over the new tracks around 1130 Saturday morning and also says, quote, as normal train traffic resumes, crews and contractors will remain on site to remove all equipment and material utilized throughout the process and continuing to restore the area. MRL remains committed to addressing any impacts to the area as a result of this incident. There's people from all over North America really focused on Montana Rail Link. Paul O'Neill lives in Canada but has family from Montana and has always loved trains and he's one of those people focused on MRL in their last year of business. Watching what happened or seeing what happened, you know, affected a lot of people that had plans to come out and see the Montana Rail Link because, well, you can't run trains when there's a bridge out. The fact that they got this bridge built so quickly is pretty amazing. That's a thought that's been echoed by many. No idea it would take that quick for them to fix that railroad bridge. In Stillwater County, Haley Monaco, MTN News.